Welcome to another theory video. This is on CSEC IT. So I hope you learned something in the process. Let's go. So in information processing, what happens is that we um, we produce data all the time. Computers produce data, we produce data, we have names, we have numbers, we have all sorts of stuff. And when you take data and you input it into a computer system, it comes back out as information. So data goes through some sort of process and comes out as information. An easy example would be like, um, let's say you have um, the numbers 2 and 2. And then the process that you have is addition. The information that you will get out of it would be 4. Simple, right? Data, process, information. And that drives almost everything in, um, in data communication. So where do we get information from? Well, plenty of times, uh, a lot of times we get information from places that, um, that require people. And uh, usually people are, <laughs> are the, the good, the good thing and people are also the problem. So you have, um, multiple sources where information could come from. You have primary information sources and then secondary information sources. Now, Primary information sources would usually be from the people that would come from primary information sources would usually be from people that would usually come from asking them questionnaires, giving them interviews, observing them, and then secondary information sources would be things like books, journals, magazines, websites. Why they call them primary and secondary is because primary you actually get it from the person who was there. And secondary, you actually get it from somebody who heard from somebody who wrote about it. So if I was actually there when the car crash happened, they'll interview me as a primary source. If I read any newspaper that the car crash happened, then that is a secondary source because the person who is in, writing in the newspaper is reporting on what someone else told them that they saw. If you understand, right? Thanks for watching the theory video. If you learned something, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe, do whatever you have to do. And if you want practical applications of the things, feel free to check out any of my classes. You can find them on my website at makeitsimplett.com. I have classes for all different subjects from CSEC IT, CAPE IT, CAPE Computer Science, and many different tutorial videos that you could find on this channel. So um, thank you very much and look out for the next video that is here or here because I have all the theory videos for all the subjects.